Hello. In this particular question, we are asked which of the following conditions must PQR satisfy so that the following system of linear simultaneous equations has at least one solution such that P plus Q plus R is not equal to zero. Now, you might get intimidated by so such huge equations and so many variables and stuff like that. But you shouldn't be. What is the key idea here? You have to find out a relationship between P, Q and R such that the equations have, these equations have a solution. Now, uh, maybe for three it is a little difficult. When do two equations and two variables do not have a solution? One case would be when x plus y is equal to 3 and 2x plus 2y is equal to 6. In this case, they will not have a, uh, not have a solution because one equation is a multiple of the other. It is essentially the same equation. Is that the case here? No. So definitely that cannot be the case. Another case is when the equations are inconsistent with each other. That is x plus y is equal to 3 and x plus y is equal to 4. Now these equations are inconsistent with each other. You will never be able to find out a solution for these. So essentially what you need to do is to check is something like that happening here and how do you check that the simplest way to check that is that in all these relationships you need to get the left hand side equal to the right hand side so suppose if i take randomly i'm just picking anything by random let's say if i take option c and i do 5p plus 2q minus r what will be the coefficient of x so 5p will mean 5x 2q will mean 4x minus r will mean minus x so I have 5x plus 4x minus x, which will give me 8x. So whatever happens, 5p plus 2q minus r will not come out to be 0. All you need to check is which one of them will come out to be 0 or which one of them will come out to be valid. We know that c does not. Let's just keep on trying randomly. b. So, 5, so b will be 5x plus 4x plus x because the coefficients are the same. So I can just take 5x plus 4x plus x, which will give me 10x. So this will also not reduce to zero. How about D? So I have 5x minus 4x plus x. This will reduce to 2x. So this will also not reduce, which means my answer has to be A. And with A, let's check what will be the coefficient of x. It will be 5x minus 4x minus x which is indeed zero not just for coefficient of x you could have done the same exercise with coefficient of y let's try and quickly check that as well so 5p will mean 5 times this so that is 10 minus 12 and plus 2 10 minus 12 plus 2 which also reduces to zero so this one also works check for z also so 5p will mean minus 15 minus 2q will mean plus 22 and minus r will mean minus 7 so that also reduces to 0 which means clearly option a is the answer that we were looking for thank you